G'day guys, welcome back to our sixth episode of Pie Maker Recipes. So today I've got sweet potato hash browns that I'm really excited to share with you. Let's get into it. So first off, I'm going to be making a classic chewy brownie. So last episode, I made the chocolate brownie from the greens packet mix that was on special for $2, which was an absolute bargain. Whereas today I'm doing it with the old gold chocolate. Now I don't use all the old gold chocolate, but it's enough that I'm glad I got it on special. So I used 125 grams of the dark chocolate. I'll link the recipe below. And then I used 125 grams of butter and put that into a saucepan and put that on the stove on low until it melted. While it was doing that, I cracked three eggs into a bowl and whisked them a little bit. The recipe actually said to put the chocolate and the butter in a heat proof bowl above simmering water. Um, but I've made something else where I didn't have to do that. So I thought, ah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Which is probably really bad for cooking. But what can I say? I'm getting confident. The more I cook, the more I'm just doing my own thing. I poured in a little bit of vanilla essence. And then sugar wise, it said one and a half cups of white sugar. I decided to do that, but it just seemed like a lot to me. And then I put in three quarters of a cup of plain flour and a little bit of cocoa on the top. The recipe also said a pinch of salt, but I decided not to do that. Once the butter and the chocolate were completely melted, then I poured that back in with a dry mixture and gave it a really good mix until it was completely combined. And then I'll show you what it looked like. So this is what it looked like at the end. Then I first put it on for seven minutes just to see how it went. And then I spooned it into each bowl and I filled it right up to the top. The top wasn't that crispy, so I put it on for another minute. But as you can see, the oil is really bubbling away and then still wasn't happy with it. So I put it on for another two minutes. So in total, it had 10 minutes before I got it out. Because of all the oil, I grabbed a paper towel and just cleaned out each pie hole before filling with another batch. Here you can see how much I collected. And then as you can see, I used most of the mixture, but just between making eight of them. And I put this in for eight minutes because after the first one, I always need less the next few times. But I ended up putting it in for 10 minutes and it still wasn't that great, as you can see here. And then I didn't want to waste the mixture, so I just put it in again for another eight minutes. I preferred the brownies packet mix rather than making them from scratch. So next time they're on special, I'm going to grab a few boxes. <music> The next recipe is sweet potato hash browns. So using a sweet potato, I think this one was about 680 grams because the recipe actually said 750, but I didn't have enough, but I went with what I had. I cut off all the skin from the sweet potato and then I chopped it into big chunks because I thought, why not use my food processor? I've got it. The food processor worked pretty well. With these excess bits, I actually just kept them and did a hash brown with just them in it. And they tasted delicious. They were really good. So then I tipped out all the grated sweet potato from the food processor onto a clean tea towel, rolled it up and wringed out as much of the liquid as I could. Then I added in a cup of onions. Now these onions were frozen a couple of weeks ago. I tried doing a bit of meal prep and so I cut up one kilo worth of onions and I've just been keeping them in the freezer. So it makes it so much quicker when I'm going to make something with onion because the onions already chopped up. <laughs> Unfortunately, this recipe actually said that I needed to grate the onion, but I didn't have any onions that I could grate. So I had to use the chopped ones, but that was fine. It was all good. And then I decided to season with this roast vegetable seasoning because I love it. I really love the flavor from it rather than just doing plain salt and pepper. 
in the recipe it actually suggested this perfect basis cheese but basically what I didn't realize is it's just made of cheddar mozzie and parmesan all put together so next time I make this I'm not going to bother buying the packet I'll just buy what I want and I can mix the two if I want parmesan and mozzie so I put it on for eight minutes and then I flipped it over and I put it on again for another minute and then I got it out Basically with all the recipes I do, I always put in a cold pie maker. I did the same again with the next one, however it fell apart a lot more. I reckon I needed to squish more into each hole. I also think the onions being frozen affected it as well. Still really delicious though. This was my favourite of the four recipes orange and poppy seed cake so I bought this packet mix when I bought the brownies packet mix so it was only two dollars and all I had to add was butter eggs and water so first off I just followed the instructions I emptied the packet mix into a bowl added in the water as well as the butter and then I cracked the three eggs now you think the amount of cooking I have been doing I'd get better at cracking eggs but no I haven't And then I use the hand mixer for the first minute just to mix everything in on low speed before kicking it up to high speed until it was fully mixed through. I do like to have a little taste when I'm cooking and it was delicious. So I checked the ingredients and you know the number one ingredients is sugar so no wonder it was so good. As you can see here the butter actually wasn't soft enough so I just sat it aside for a bit went off and did something else and came back when all the butter was softened using a spatula to wipe down the sides then I gave it another mix as you can see there's no clumps of butter now and then I just spooned it into each pie hole and I filled up to the top rim and then I put it on for seven minutes and then I set the timer for eight minutes and this is what it looked like after eight minutes um, I just used a skewer to make sure that it came out clean which it did so I whipped those out So for the next two the pie maker was hot so I just took 30 seconds off so each of those was seven and a half minutes and it's brown but don't worry it's not burnt and then I just used the icing that came with the packet to cover it and it was delicious this was so good guys The last one I'm doing is condensed milk muffins. Now this had a two star review on it and when I read the review they said that after eight minutes it was already burnt and it has stuck to their pie maker like crazy. So what do you think? Will it be a pie maker win or a pie maker fail? So the recipe said to do this in the microwave to put the condensed milk, the butter and the milk but I thought no way am I doing that knowing my luck it would explode in the microwave and I'd have a super sticky microwave that I'd have to clean so I decided to do it on the stove and just do it at a really low heat so that I could keep an eye on it so while it was doing its thing I put two cups of flour into a bowl as well as two teaspoons of baking powder mixed it together with a whisk went back over to the stove to check to see how it was going um, obviously I had it on super low so I turned it up a little bit and then I decided that I'd make this apple muffins so I chopped up one apple into really thin slices <music> went back to check on the butter and it was coming along nicely once it was completely melted then I poured it in with the flour and mixed that together I just used the spatula that I'd used for the saucepan <music> I 
I added in the two eggs and combined it all together using the whisk before adding in the chopped up apple. Now, because that review said about the stickiness in the pie maker, I thought, oh, I've got some cupcake patty pans. I'll just use those. I popped them into the pie maker and then I popped the mixture on top and I filled it up to the top. So as you can see here, it's pretty high. And then I put it on for seven minutes. So I didn't want to go eight minutes after what they'd said. And this is how they turned out. They weren't burnt but gee they were close to being and then I put the skewer in just to double check and it was clear when it came out so I took those ones out wiped down the pie maker with a paper towel just to get that excess sugar off and then batch number two I didn't put as much mixture in and I only put it on for five minutes before checking it and the front right one wasn't cooked perfectly so I just put it on again for another 30 seconds until the skewer came out clean I didn't really enjoy these, I must admit. I don't know if it was just the flavor that I decided to go with with the apple, if that's why I didn't really enjoy it that much, but I won't be making apple condensed milk muffins again. And the last batch I did for five minutes as well. So this was the first batch I did, nearly burnt. This was the second one, and the last one were the best by far. Thanks heaps for watching. Bye.